I'm interviewing Mr. Al Milham. He's, a, he's a, an amazing friend and he's an amazing artist. He's participating in this amazing, everything is amazing. So <laughs> how many amazing we put in it? <laughs> We're having 59 paintings of Lebanese artists in the Ritz-Carlton, Dubai. And that was and the idea and the conception of Dr. Antoine Karam. And we some helped on everything. You will enjoy the interview. He talked about the exhibition now and his assembly of the previous acquisition by the hotel. Watch the interview and send your comments, send your questions to Wissam. Hi Wissam. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. And How's you? everything? Great. <clears throat> Excellent. Where are we now? We're at the Ritz Carlton, the IFC in Dubai. It's, it's an adventure and we're, we've been preparing. Sure, it's been the, like the show. Uh, it's been like a uh, few days we're preparing this exhibition. Actually, it happened, it's been, it's been prepared uh, by Dr. Karam and all the team since like a month, working on even more, maybe organizing and getting all the paintings from different artists, bringing them here, shipping them, doing all the logistics. So it took quite well a good amount of time. Yeah, yeah. So it's not your first time and it's not your first time you put an artwork here. Yeah, no. Uh, so, in, uh, in the Ritz, this is my second time. Yeah. Oh, you've been, you have your art in Dubai, other pieces? I have my art, at, I had <clears throat> my art in Abu Dhabi, actually. Okay. But sold or exhibition? Exhibition. Okay. I have few pieces that were sold to some uh, 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 collectors that living in Dubai. But as an exhibition, this is my first exhibition, if you want, in Dubai, mm. uh, here in the Ritz. Adirids. And then before I had my um, in, in art kind of art installation sculpture, uh, which was the Christmas tree, but it was a unique Christmas tree for the for during Christmas for the Ritz as they well. They acquired. They acquired it. Yes. How was the experience of putting your tree for Christmas at the Ritz? This thing happened was a dream for me. You know, we always dream to have something like really huge and big in places like the Ritz, which is an international hotel and uh, where people from different nationality, nationalities come here and see the work, uh, see the, your work uh, exhibited here. So it's, it was like a, a dream for me to have hmm. such things. Something it, for you, it it's actually it, it gives motivate you, you. It's like just pushing you forward and all. Yeah, I th in my opinion, it's not about ego, it's affirming it gives us feedback about our quality. Exactly. Because creative people, and in, in my included, we know that we're good, but at some times we keep on doubting. Is this good? Is this not good? Yes, I always have this, actually. Is it good what I'm doing? Is it nice? Is it really creative? People would, would like my, my work or would buy my work or acquire my work. You, you mentioned. Know? So, but, but this is like, what motivate, motivate you to develop yourself and to, yeah, to keep always on keep on improving and moving on. And if you just reach your ego and, and I'm the best artist now. You, you, you stop you, developing. You, exactly. Yeah, you mentioned in our other interview that I apologize for that for technical reason why I couldn't, we couldn't post, we couldn't put it. You mentioned that your first exhibition was sold out. Yes. Right? Yes. Drawings. Yes. And you were pushed, people just told you, do that. You know, just do the exhibition. You, you weren't even uh, believing, I don't know if it was the word is believing, in, in how much that the, at the level. And now this would more than, I, I think it would be more than enough just to say, yeah, I'm, I'm as good as any uh, brand or, or any uh, art piece you yes, know, I, can, I can do. I'm not comparing myself to any other artwork or fashion or anything that's happening around. So okay. I'm not comparing. It's, I don't compare myself to what's happening. Everyone is doing well, actually. And I like different, the, the, this uh, different kind of work and art and everything. But I'm mm -hmm. not comparing. But what, what happens usually is every time I do a certain project or a certain mm, exhibition or whatever, and it's successful. I say, okay, now 
what I be, I became I feel that I'm more responsible and more worried, you know, and mm. then because keep improving, you, you need to to do something like really better. Mm. Not first, not only for for your audience or for your followers uh, that follows your artwork and uh, like your art, but for myself first, I know. Uh, 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 for, for my motivation, for my yeah. um, so, what's next? Can I do better? Can I uh, uh, move further? And this is like at the at the first step, you offset yourself from your work and you start thinking, and what's next? And then definitely things comes since you're working and experimenting and always like trying to uh, 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 do something new. Things comes, yeah, but. Yeah, if if you're not worried, if you're not uh, ha having this like um, self criticism, what's, exactly, you, you, you're not self evaluation. Develop. Let's exactly, say. that's it. Yes, and you, you, it's it's very notable. But when you see the person is always looking to improve, there's always an attention to respect the viewer's uh, uh, knowledge and their expectation of your work. 100%. When you present something good, you can't present something less than what you already presented, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And always look for the, if you want this uh, 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 constructive criticism, even if they say we don't like, or it's not about I don't like because reminds me of whatever. Not liking, but yeah. if they say and it's better doing this or maybe why you did that or this, these constructive criticism I like really uh, appreciate more than anyone says, oh, your art is beautiful. That's okay. it. Yeah. yeah. At the same time, it is it's also an, a number thing. When you have this, like you mentioned, people are buying, it's the best testimonial that people admire your work. They can come and say it's beautiful as many times as they want, exactly. but when they put the money that's the, the, the ultimate testimonial that they really like and want your, your work. 100%. So back to the tree, how was the experience? How, how was, you know, coming and assembling and seeing uh, develop? Yeah, the execution of the tree was like, actually we had a long, uh, um, it took a long period of time to just for the lids accept that kind of Christmas tree, not a normal Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. And the sculpture thing, metallic, they don't know me really well as mm. an artist. I've never been here into uh, exhibiting or having sculptures. <coughs> Sorry. And then definitely, the, so the management of the hotel accept and uh, allow you to go into this uh, uh, event and installation. And then when we took the OK, we had like, um, maximum of 15 days to to do the the uh, structure and ship it here. So we did everything in Beirut wow. and we shipped it here. Yeah, and then 15 I days came is here not with, a long time. Uh, yes, and I came here and we did the installation. This experience was really amazing. You, you know, we were working in the middle of the lobby. Everyone is like coming in, coming out, taking photos and wondering what is this thing, this metallic structure that's being built all together. No one was like knowing it's, it's going to be a Christmas tree till you know, we ended it up. And then, you know, you start hearing people. And the good thing, the good part of it, like some were like surprised and you know, they told them there is a, there, there will be a new Christmas tree in the lobby. But you know, people normally when you say Christmas tree, they see the green Christmas tree with the light, with the... Um, yeah, very traditional. Yeah, the, the traditional thing. Christmas tree. So when they saw this, they were like somehow shocked, mm. you know. They were the positive shock. They liked it. And then it was like this thing, um, do I like this thing? Uh, do I want the uh, traditional Christmas tree? So it was a nice experience, like just uh, mingling in between the people looking at it, hearing those comments, and it was nice, you know? Nice, you learn nice. and you develop How was the things. feedback from the hotel? The hotel, the hotel, now, yesterday I was talking to the engineering, the responsible of the everything related yeah. to the engineering here, uh, and he said, we're gonna build it next week again, 
we're gonna put it next week, but we need to do some modification, maybe increase the lighting in next week or and next week. Uh, sorry, Christmas. next next Christmas, next year, I mean. Okay. And uh, at, do at some, the end of this year. At the end of this year, yes. yes. And do some maybe modification on it, add some lighting uh, to it. Uh, so we're gonna work something around it again. Yeah. So to yeah. just enhance they're it. They're enthusiastic, they're, yes, they're, they're happy, happy to do that. Because they had good feedback actually. Okay. Out of it. Nice. And now we are here at the Ritz. <coughs> What's happening? Now we're gonna ha we're having a collective. Uh, we're 17 artists from Beirut, from Lebanon, and uh, we're having like 59 uh, artwork. And uh, uh, to the, tonight we're having the opening at seven, so we're having um, yeah the exhibition. You have and three it's staying of your for like uh, one month. Yeah, it's staying for a month. You have three of your paintings. I have three of my paintings. What is the theme? What uh, what's, what are you? What did you work on these? I worked paintings. on the city. Yeah. I always do reflect cities in my paintings. And the architecture with relationship to you. Yes, but more of it's the city as not as architecture itself, but as like traveling and taking your, your identity and belonging with you everywhere you go. So that's why you start seeing those layers uh, on top of each other, building these stories. So the layers are those stories that are built on, to get on top of each other. Uh, this is like the theme that I'm talking about. So yeah, it's this uh, uh, traveling with the stories, with the with the with with the, your identity, with your belonging, and mm. traveling the world around. Nice. What do you think about the the coming to the, the to the financial center where they incentivize? art they they want to invest and to bring art the intention of it is to to bring some harmony some culture some something to the harsh reality of financial center is this what i understood yes i think their intention to give it some life exactly 100 percent. and actually they they're succeeding you know this area here which is called the uh, dubai international Fi uh, financial center. center yes the ifc which is like Again, it be, it's becoming the hub of uh, art. So if you go out now and then you go around, you'll see like five, six galleries, okay. one of yeah, oh, okay. and, and known galleries, like Opera Gallery uh, and others. So it's becoming a hub of art. Mm -hmm. And then specifically now the Ritz Carlton is like trying again, as you said, as you mentioned, uh, promoting art again in their... Uh, uh, their spaces. halls, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's that's very nice, very generous from from them, and that's very thoughtful. I want you to tell us a little bit about the connection to Dubai, being Lebanese artist, and do you see there is there is some kind of a connection, or like, is it the same or a difference between here and Spain, where you exhibited like last year? Yes. Look, it's not. For me, it's not the connection as much as the discovery and the experience that you I get from every time I visit a new city. So okay. th this experience that I get is like bring in me the, these uh, uh, tools if you want to create new stories. So if you want to put it in a way and it's a connection thing, it's this connection of me with, with the city and f getting from it new stories, new experience. So I add it to my experience, to my belonging, which is Beirut, and then create again another layer every time I visit a city and create my new it stories. Adds, it, it you adds, capture, it capture you, yes. you absorb more, more exactly. in, you know, information and, and it is a hub here. It is you a see hub. people from all over the world. Exactly, and what's interesting and, or maybe not just interesting, it's different from other cities in this place here. Every time you visit Dubai or you visit this area here, you see something new and changing and developing. And okay. you, there is an, one more added tower here. There is, uh, I don't know, one more development added, develop project here. So it's still under development and growing and changing and having different nationalities, different people, different thoughts, different approaches. Yeah, it's, it's interesting you mentioned, and I, I, I took this thing about 
our connection to architecture. It's not just taking pictures of architecture and just, you know, you're being an architecture and then artist. It's the, connect, the emotional connection to the place and how exactly. much this can influence your day by day, your psychology, everything. I was walking in the morning to, to grab something and I was looking how much they put attention and where, is the, where, where there is a will, there's a way. And I saw all those flowers in this, such a harsh place that sand and they have very beautiful flowers on the sidewalk, on the, on the roads. And it's amazing. They, can, they maintain them. They, they put a lot of water, a lot of work into it. But they want the city to be beautiful and, and very welcoming, to be cozy. Yeah. And that was like very nice to see that in the first, you know, in my own walking on the sidewalk. Yeah, that's, that's actually what's, what's interesting about this area is like uh, when you come here, by default, in your brain, you're conceiving a desert. Okay. Yeah, desert, very, and very harsh, very dry. Yellow, harsh uh, sand. weather and uh, colorful spa spatially. I'm, we're talking, and you're reaching the the some of the areas in in this uh, city. You discover no. At some point, you you move. You feel like you're in Europe. You're not anymore in in in, yeah. in, in, in a harsh space in a harsh area. Like you. So this is this is this. Duality in your brain is something. Where am I? Where am I? Yes, it's something. Okay, and actually, it's it's a spatial quality again. It's another type of a spatial quality. If we're talking architecture now, and uh, it has a, a, a certain affordance of maybe uh, you want to walk longer, you want to lo sit, you want to stay, you want to move, you it, want to it, discover. Uh, ends so up influencing your exactly. your attitude. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I really, um, how to say, recognize their effort to make it a place and to make it comfortable as, as possible and to really invest in, in creating this emotional you know, space for people to feel good. Yeah, so actually, you know, the important part in making a place, and you mentioned it, and I like the way you mentioned that making a place. So making a place is not only architectural. It's not by just building a wall and on that only... wall, just in front of it, place a, next to it, put a tree and then on the wall, put an artwork or uh, create something that make a place. Okay. The place, place needs people. A, play, a wall without a, a street, a wall, anything without the people in it, it's not a place yet. Yes. A place we're talking, not architecture. And then people without activities, without culture, without uh, interaction, doesn't make people making a place. So you need the place, you need the wall and the yeah. street and the levels and everything. And then you need to put the people added to it. And then you need the interaction between those people to create a place so the place is not later empty. Like and any places, well -being in, in the place. even in Beirut, we're creating maybe spaces and places, but they're empty because they, they, they're doing it like uh, they're doing it very well, but it's uh, missing it the activities. It's lacking the activities and the, the, and the interaction. Yeah. Here and in, in, in this area, there is this interaction. So mm -hmm. you can find the coffee shop. You can find the jewelry shop. You can find the fancy restaurant. You can have a easy sandwich, and you have everything in between and you walk through and you walk through and, and you have all those activities happening regardless of the nice trees and the nice plants and it's always irrigated always maintained but the interaction is the essence of it, of it all mm -hmm. and that's what making it a hub and that's what what's making it alive i think mm -hmm. and that's what is like creating this um place being a hub of art for art for fashion for business for everything so that's why everyone yeah. wants to come to Dubai and everyone wants to visit Dubai There's and a big enjoy it. Into, into into really do, exactly providing these things to people. So it's a holistic approach if you want to create that. It's not only by building the towers. Maybe it started by building the towers first, definitely. But they were smart enough to add to it this interaction that, may, that attracted all kind of people to it.
Yeah. From the artist to the uh, managers of big banks and uh, corporations. Corporations, exactly. That's great. So, are you happy to have your art in this big uh, exhibition of Lebanese artists here? Yes, definitely. Being among silly question, I know, but uh, being <laughs> among uh, big names here, starting from Jamil Mlaib, yeah, Raouf, Rah yeah. Raouf uh, Actually, Rifai, uh, uh, Ribal Mlaib, uh, Ghazi Bakir, all these big names, you know, and not forgetting all my friends. Yeah. So we're here enjoying and working as a team and really showing a, a very nice image mm. of Lebanon, of Lebanese people, of artists from Beirut, uh, with the uh, 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 help and the idea and the bright idea of Dr. Karam, who's curating all of these and his team. So that was amazing. I think uh, it, it's going to be a successful it is uh, evening already because I when I arrived today we were here yesterday I I saw people just stopping taking pictures enjoying they yeah. loving them I want to commend you uh, on the assembling yesterday we were helping each other and and you were so much dedicated to to put all these names you were assembling yes. with Dr. Karam and it's like a team yeah you know when you love something and passionate about something you forget your ego. You forget everything. You're passionate. That's for sure. that's all. And yeah. I I love all these artists that are here, and I love their work, and I admire their work. So I I would love to take care of these works and place them well, and and recognizing the quality exactly. of the who came before. And for me, if they grow big, and as a team we all grow big. Yes. So that's yes. that's how I think. That's how we, I work, and that's I think how the the team work here. Well, I want to thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I wish you a lot of success and all the artists that are participating. And let's make it just one episode of a of a long, very uh, successful inter integration between artists, Lebanese artists, and the scenery of Dubai. Yeah. And Great. thank you. Thank you very Hope much. Hope to see you. We're, we'll, we'll stay in touch and see you in Lebanon talking about other subjects. Sure, sure. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. See you.